as a beginner i have here the only five makeup products that can help you begin your makeup journey these are all products that you can use for your makeup the only five products you need with this product you can start your makeup routine and achieve a flawless face and i'll be going step by step on how to use this product and also recommend product for your skin type primer serves as a base for your foundation also helps minimize your pores to reduce oil production and help your makeup to last longer you have to pick a primer according to your skin type if you're oil skin you pick a primer that is mattifying and if you're dry skin you have to pick a primer that is hydrating so i have a couple of primers here this is a mattifying primer for extremely dry skin and this you should use on the t-zone only and this is a primer this is a mattifying primer but it's not like a very dry mattifying primer you can use this all over your skin and this is a hydrating primer and it comes in a spray bottle so when you're picking primers you have to pick primers according to your skin type for my skin type that is oil i'm going to be using this all over my skin and i'm going to be using this that is a dry mattifying primer only on my t-zone when applying your primer especially if you're using a mattifying primer it's best to apply in a tapping motion that way your primer sits properly into your skin i already have my skin prep under my skin which is my serum my moisturizer my cleanser my sunscreen i don't want my primer to move that around so i tap this into my skin and just let it sit properly into my skin then i go ahead with the mattifying primer from Gen to Dove only on my T-zone because I just want that dryness on my T-zone. I produce more oil on my T-zone. So that's why I apply that only on my T-zone. I don't apply this all over the skin because I don't want my skin dry. So this is what it does to my skin. It just sucks in all the oil from my skin and just leave my skin really, really dry. That's why it's best applied only on the T-zone where I produce much oil. You need a foundation. There are different types of foundations and you have to pick foundations according to your skin type. I have a couple of foundation here. I have the Huda Beauty, I have the B Beauty, I have uh, the Melanin Conceal and Perfect and I have the Milban Beauty in my skin in my skin foundation. If you're on skin, don't opt for the Huda Beauty or any other matifying foundation you can lay your hands on. This is a luminous foundation. It's not dry and it's not oil. It's just in between and this is also a foundation. This is like a buildable coverage foundation so just pick foundation that works according to your skin type and this is an oil-based foundation this melanin concealer and perfect is an oil-based foundation if you have a dry skin then you want to opt for this or any other oil-based foundation you can lay your hands on there are different tools you can use to apply your foundation different method you can either use a brush or a beauty sponge i like to use a beauty sponge i just place on my skin with a brush then use a beauty sponge to blend that out i like using a beauty sponge because it doesn't absorb so much product like a brush would concealers are very important step in your makeup routine there are different kind of concealers there is a cream concealer and there's a liquid concealer i prefer to go for the cream concealer because it's really really blendable as a beginner i recommend you go for the cream concealer because it gives you time to blend and also makes blending easier but if you're going for a liquid concealer which is also very good but then it, you have to blend really fast and it doesn't give you time to blend but for this video i'm going to be using the liquid concealer from Novan beauty this is in the shade 045 when picking concealer you have to know what you are trying to achieve are you trying to conceal or are you trying to highlight if you're trying to conceal one shade lighter than your foundation shade is better but if you're trying to highlight then you should go for two shades lighter for this video i'm going to be highlighting so i'll be using this concealer which is the perfect shade for highlighting for my skin tone in 045 i like to start off with very little quantity of product because i can always build up if i want and also because I don't have dark on the eye, so I won't be needing extra layer or a color. Eyes, you might want to layer twice or use like a color corrector under your eyes. So I just like very little, and I blend it upwards just to give my face a lift. So when you're doing this, just in a tapping motion because it just helps the concealer to blend in properly and also give you a fuller coverage. Blushes are very important in your makeup routine because after you finish applying your foundation and your concealer. You need color to bring back warmth on your face. You can't just walk out like this. You look really pale and dry. So you need blush to bring back colors on your face. There are different colors of blush. There is the pink blush. There is the purple blush. There is the orange blush. And also there is a cream blush and there is a liquid blush. For this video, I'm going to be using this cream blush. It's a lip palette. But I use it as a blush because it's creamy and it can also do the job. And I'm going to be using pink. This pink from this palette. I'm a pink blush girl, so... I always use pink blush. I love the way it looks on my skin. So just pick what works for you and what works for your skin type. So you just want to place little on your skin. Just very little. 
and blend that always blend out your blush in a tapping motion the good thing about using a cream blush is that it gives you time to blend so take your time don't rush it just take your time and blend out properly and also like to just take excess of the blush from my beauty sponge on my nose area and also on my forehead area it just gives me that color i really really like so done doing that i'm going to just go ahead to blend my concealer make sure i just blend out every demarcation i might have from the blush another very important product you need for your makeup is the powder you cannot even do makeup without powder the setting powder the pressed powder the bronzers all you need powder in your makeup routine so for this look i'm going to be using this merak setting powder in the shade curry you can use your pressed powder to set you can use the setting powder to set but you need powder in your makeup routine so i'm just going to place very little quantity under my eye as you can see this is a really blurring setting powder it just blows my skin and give my skin the matte finish you want to take little quantity just to build up your um setting powder you don't want to pack so much and apply all over the skin so i'm just applying that under my eye with this setting powder a little goes a very long way just always remember that you can always build up instead of packing so much product and applying on your skin and you're having so much so i set directly under my eyes and I just take very little quantity to set all over every part of my face where i highlighted still on powders i'm going to be using this um um pressed powder this is the flawless matte pressed powder from blood cosmetic in the shade cola this is you can use your powder to do your contour or bronze your face i prefer to use a warm shade instead of going in with a very dark shade so just to warm up my face and bronze my face so i do that on my nose area and also so i like to use it to face. contour my face just to you know give bring back warmth to the face and just bring everything in together and bring the face together you can use your foundation to do your cream um, contour you can use your you can do just powder you can do just powder contour and you're good to go moving on to set over the face we'll be using the pressed powder this is a fancy beauty pro filter powder in 360 so this is what i'm going to be using all over my face it's always important to set all over your face with either a pressed powder or a loose powder when you're done with your makeup because you don't want your skin looking oily so you just need to set all the cream products together and bring your skin together and give it that beautiful matte finish so these are the five most important makeup products you need for your makeup for a full face makeup plan for your eyes you can play around with your eyes you can do anything on your eyes you can even decide not to do eyeshadow at all and you are good to go but these five makeup products you can do with this product they are very important and these are all you need for your makeup for a full face glam and at this will come to the end of this video let me know if you enjoyed this video please give it a very big thumbs up if you do drop a comment for me down below what you think about this video subscribe to my channel if you're yet to subscribe and i'll see you in my next one bye